Hey everybody, this is Flick Hand Gamer. Welcome back to my Let's Play of No More Heroes on the Wii. In our first part of this new Let's Play, we spent a lot of our time in the tutorial because it's been like five years, four or five years since I last played the game, and it's nice to get a refresher. I think I missed a card. Oh uh, yeah, probably mentioned that some enemies will have guns aside from the basic bean katana, those horns and stuff. So yeah, so hopefully this part will get closer to the 10th ranked assassin who at the beginning of the, before we entered the mansion, is called Deadpool. And I just remembered that if you hold the Z button when an enemy with a gun is coming at you, at you, you can basically block the shot, but it will drain a bit of your beam katana energy. Alright. Alright, here we go. Uh, I have no idea what that was, but I did with the minus button. Okay, it's, I highly doubt that any of you were able to hear that, but this is one of those instances where, um, basically, um, I just want to check because I want to see if I can get the... Yeah, so this is one of those instances where the Wii basically tries to utilize as the Wii remote, so you can basically hear Sylvia talking through the microphone portion of the Wii remote, like the sound is coming out. But it makes it a lot more fun because it makes it feel like more of a remote. But I think for the sake of this Let's Play, I'll probably just have to turn it off. But it is a nice feature and I definitely think it's impressive. Alright. Okay, so... Alright. So a couple of things. Um... First, there's an arrow icon basically telling you to pick something up, which is a wrestling mask with a letter inside. Travis, do you remember those golden days of Calgary? The path of pro wrestling that you have long forgotten? If even a fragment of the spirit of a wrestler remains in your blood, remember the first suplex that your master taught you. Yes, that's right. The darkness piercing. Front neck chancery drop. MS. So basically what that does is that it basically helps you remember an old professional wrestling move. So, so thankfully before every boss fight there is a save point and a battery power up and a pizza to get you fully recharged. And when you go to save, you basically do it by taking a dump. So we're going to create a new file even though this isn't my first time playing. It's better to be safe than sorry. And since we're only four minutes in, I think we'll have plenty of time to get through this first boss. And I don't know, it looks like... I guess I forgot that the boxes regenerate. But I think that's enough delays. Let's get to death metal. God, I love these transitions. Quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? 
fateful the lives of many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true wealth. I am free of desire. So long as I have this scenery to look upon, I need nothing more. Please leave me be. You're the one leaving. In a body bag. I'll only say this once more. Leave here now. Huh. Me leave? You obviously don't know me. You don't get it, do you? Hey, you know what paradise is, right? Paradise. This is paradise. The place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up. This is no paradise. All right, then what is it? A place to die. Huh. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. So naive. You have no idea, do you? What a pity. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Listen well, young one. The wall is high, higher than you will ever know. Ultimate sacrifice is so Now draw. Huh. You can take that to your grave. So yeah, this is our first boss death metal, who is basically a philosophical rich guy with a case of rock. This can't be Okay, so as you can probably tell from that long monologue, you can see that Travis is actually jealous of death metal's lifestyle. As you can see, there are instances where you can basically break your opponent's guard by I get causing them to become dizzy. See? And by doing this, you can use the move moves that you learn to do damage on them. So as you can probably tell, the fight is pretty easy, all things considered. Like, even if Death Metal is only the first boss, it's honestly nothing really that special. The only thing that does count, from, count as anything interesting is when Death Metal you know, decides to form clones of himself. You know, as you basically saw during Travis's long monologue. Um, also, I really like the boss music that he that, that plays during this fight. Even though, like I said, most of the time, Time you can't even hear Eric for most of the fight because Travis is too busy monologuing. Huh. 
Yeah, and that's about it. But an old man with a cleaver for, for a weapon? Not bad. And for the finishing touch. Extraordinary. The moment I've been waiting for. The name Holy Sword is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise, old man. So yeah, we did a pretty good job, all things considering. And whenever we complete a stage and beat a boss, we will get additional money for it. And we get to watch over the corpse. Alright. We get more money and a new and basically a new heart container that basically, like Legend of Zelda and stuff like that, help increases your health. So we have more than what we've had in this stage. Nice kill, Travis. I didn't think you had it in you. It was rather exciting. Congratulations. You are now ranked 10. 10, huh? What? Do I get anything? Hmm. How about some cash? That should help you pay the bills. If only it were that easy, That's Sylvia. That's an accomplishment that I should have. So I just gotta do this a few more times, right? If you so choose, yes. And you will keep your promise? There is nothing the association cannot do. And if I refuse... As the 10th ranked assassin, you are now a target for those who want to replace you. Anytime, anywhere, number 11 could be right around the corner, ready to put a knife in your eye. So what you're telling me is that I gotta continue fighting. There's no way out of this. You set me up, bitch. Quit your bitching and get with the program. <laughs> There's only one road out of here. No turning back. Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, just once. Basically, the old and out and out. Ah, uh, well, I'm 23, I can basically say it. Basically, what Travis wants out of Sylvia is basically to have sex with her. Alright, so we get the marvelous screen. Rank 11, but we just killed Death Metal, and now we're rank 10. So now we just gotta do this nine more times. Well, I gotta say, for my first outing in about five years with this game, I think I did pretty well, all things considering. And then once we return, and then once we complete the stage, we can go and save and not risk doing any of this all over again. And as you can see, we've now changed from rank 9th to 10th, and we're back at the motel. Am I ready? Anytime. Gotcha. Boy. Ah, uh, Travis. So, as you can probably tell by the being in the motel, Travis Amos is basically the equivalent of somewhat of a loser living in a motel with a cat and a poster of anime girls. Alright. So with a brief look at this, the closet is basically... Basically in the game you get the opportunity to buy new items like new sunglasses, new jackets, new t-shirts, stuff like that. But we have... Well, we have other t-shirts to work off of, so I think we'll do number four. And then, 
like I said, we don't have much in terms of customization for Travis and this aside from the shirts. But basically, when you earn money, you get the opportunity to try to buy I aim to find interesting. In the drawers, you basically pull out, out different beam katanas. And I say different because there are going to be some that are much stronger than the one you currently have. Honestly, I barely even use... Oh, this is basically a guide of the map, but honestly, I barely even use it, considering that at the bottom right of the screen, you basically have a frickin... There are no messages. All right. So basically, since there's only, like, uh, let's see, toilet is basically used to save. TV, um, you can watch certain videos. Um, this one is basically an E3 trailer of the game, where basically that assassin that Travis was talking about in the opening was the 11th ranked assassin named Helter Skelter. And it's because of his death that Travis is even qualified to compete in these kinds of things. Let's see, let's take a quick look at the fridge. Oh, it basically refills your health. And then Jean is basically Travis's kitten. Hey girl. Now it's really kind of awkward considering the Oh. Kitty! And then and then lastly the cards is based on all the cards that you collected. Oh wait, I think I get that one right. Okay, so I didn't miss anything. Alright, so now let's exit because there's going to be an important cutscene next, which revolves around the next ranked assassin. Alright. Alright, so basically there are icons like the home screen that like move around with the D-pad. And now we go into the limo. The next fight has been arranged. You don't have a lot of time, so I'll just tell you what you need to know. The ninth ranked assassin is currently Dr. Peace. A doctor? Actually, a detective. A oh. dirty and unscrupulous detective with plenty of dark secrets about him. Illegal investigations, illicit sales, black marketing. He is your one-stop shop for marketing illegal goods. And on top of that, he is a trained assassin. He's been doing some work for the Mafia. And before you know it, he's up there ranked ninth on the list. To be frank, he's good. You won't stand a chance against him. You're as good as dead. What's it going to be, cowboy? Put me in, coach. All right. Please transfer 150,000 LB dollars. What? 150,000 LBs? Your entry fee? My overhead costs? Don't tell me that you were not expecting so many zeros on that price or that I am ripping you off or some shit. <laughs> we have an elite staff in the thousands. Personally, I think it's a bargain. Okay, I gotcha. But you really think I got that kind of dough on me? What the hell am I supposed to do? You are supposed to do your job. You've been hired to kill someone, so just do it and quit your whining. Plus, on the job training would be good for you. If you're interested, I can introduce you to an agent, an advertisement agency. But really, they're erasers. I'll tell you where it is later. I'm running late for my facial. Catch up later, okay? What? No! Okay, so, couple things to take in, aside from the ninth ranked assassin. Basically, there's a reason why you need to earn money. Basically, every time that you have to fight a new assassin, you have to earn money. So, in order to do that, to try to enter the ranks, you have to go to this place, K Entertainment, to try to find some kind of side jobs to help you earn more money than you already have. Hello, Members only, we need only... If you don't have an introduction ticket, please leave now. We only offer... So basically, it's not worth anything. Mm. 
You can take part-time jobs in the machine. Earn enough money and you press the one button to call your bike. Alright, so basically... Like this one fly. <laughs> Alright, so so basically what happens when you press the one button in the open world, a bishop will come and bring Travis's bike. And from there you can basically just ride around Santa Destroy and change the view with the C button. It's kinda hard to get back into the swing of things, but this is pretty much most of and this isn't like GTA where basically you can run over people without any consequences. Well, what I mean by that is that you won't get tracked down by the police or anything like that. Alright, so you can stop with the B button. And... Okay, so the two buttons to hide the mini-map. Up, down on the D-pad causes you to get off the bike. Okay, not what I wanted. Yes. Alright, um, I think, honestly, this is probably going to do it for this part. First things first, I'm going to go back to the motel and save because something tells me if I don't save now, then basically I have to do the whole, I have to watch the whole cutscenes all over again. I mean, granted you can skip them, but it's still a tedious process, honestly. Be a break. So. Alright, so, yeah, so like I said, that's going to do it for this part, so, so we're going to hit the John, we're going to save, and the next part we're probably going to, we're going to be doing some side jobs, try to earn more money, and hopefully we'll have enough to, well, first of all, hopefully get either new equipment, get new clothes, but mostly, hopefully get the 150 that we need to fight Dr. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.